Oh my goodness, it is week eight, it's day 36. You are at getting ready for fourth grade math. Like a boss, we're adding, we're subtracting, we're multiplying fractions today, all in one. It's a nice way to finish off the unit here. So if you're just joining us at week eight, you probably wanna start back at week one. This is our last and final week before I think that you are truly ready for fourth grade math and that you are a boss at the things you need to be good at for fourth grade math. Um, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Miss McCarthy. I'm here to help you out. Um, all the work that I'm doing here you can access by clicking the link in the description box below that will take you to another website where you can then download um, the same stuff that I'm working on plus a lot more extra practice that you need with an answer key and everything. So, Hope it helps. Let's get to our boss notes. Let's get going. Week eight, final, final. Woo! Okay, everybody, we've got our boss notes, our final boss notes. I know you've done it. You've made it. All right, so we're talking about fractions today. When you add or subtract fractions, your denominators match. When you add or subtract, denominators match. To multiply fractions like a boss, just multiply across. When you add or subtract, denominators match. To multiply like a boss, just multiply across. I'll show you what I'm talking about in our Learn It and practice it sections. Let's go, let me teach you. All right, we're at the learn it section, problem number one. We've got eight and a half plus eight and a half, and when you add or subtract, your denominators must match. The great part about fourth grade is that when you're adding, your denominators should match. It's not until fifth grade that we change up the um, whether they're different or not, the denominators. So. Because they match, I can go ahead and get started. So 8 plus 8 is 16. And now I'm going to multiply my fractions. I'm going to do that out here. 1 half plus 1 half. Now my denominators are going to match, so it's going to just slide across and be 2. But 1 plus 1 is 2. And 2 over 2 is equal to 1. So 16 plus 1 equals 7. All right, here we are subtracting fractions. So I've got 8 and 2 fourths minus 6 and 3 fourths. Now when we're subtracting, we need to make sure that our fraction over here is actually greater than our fraction there. So 2 fourths minus 3 fourths. I can't do that, so I need to regroup. So this would actually become 7. And because of that, I'm going to add on four equal parts, so plus four, because my denominator was four. Let me rewrite this as seven. Two plus four is six. Keep my denominator the same. This is called regrouping fractions. All right. Now, <clears throat> seven minus six is one, and then six fourths minus three fourths. Keep our denominator the same, which is four, 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 four. They got a match. Six minus three is three, so one and three fourths is your answer. You might want to go back and replay this one to see what I did there with the regrouping. When you add or subtract, your denominators match. Went to multiply like a boss, multiply across. But first you need to do something, so I'm multiplying. I'm going to change these to two fractions. One fourth, same thing. And this nine is really nine over one. Now, that was the hard part. The easy part is just to multiply it across. One times nine equals nine. Four times one equals four. So we have nine fourths or two and one fourth because I can get one, 
two holes out of the nine and have one fourth left over. All right, here's the practice it section. So you should have tried these on your own and you're coming back here because you need some help with it or just to check your work. So help me out. We are adding, when you add or subtract your denominators match, very good. Now, can I add the whole numbers first? Yes, four plus one is five, okay? My denominators have to match, so what goes here? Eight, 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 eight. And now three plus seven is 10. But here's the problem. My numerator is greater than my denominator, so I can actually have another hole there. I can do, make that six, so add one here, take away eight, that would be two. So six and two eighths would be my answer. Okay, now six and one fourth minus two and one fourth. I'm subtracting, so I need to look at this fraction first. Is this one fourth equal or greater than this one? Yes, that means that I can go ahead. I don't have to regroup anything, um, which I thought that I might have to, but I didn't put one in. I know that I put some more in, though, for your other days, like day 37, day 38. You'll have some more practice there. So 6 minus 2 is 4, and 1 4 minus 1 4. My denominators match, so 4. 1 minus 1 is 0. And there's no such thing as, well, there is such a thing as zero fourths, but that's, I don't need to write it over here like that. Like this answer would not, it's, it's okay, but the better answer would just be plain old four. All right, one fifth times five. To multiply like a boss, just multiply across. But first I need to change my whole number to a fraction. So one fifth times five over one, multiply across. One times five is five. Five times one is five. Five, same numerator, same denominator, that equals one. And you are finished. You probably need to go back over this and look at the regrouping. If you need some extra help, comment below and I'll try to help you the best that I can. And yeah, we're out. Let's do the B message, people. Today's B message is to be you like a boss. Be different. Be beautiful. Be awesome. Be creative in your own way. Stop trying to be like everyone else. Everyone else is already taken. Listen, you were born with gifts and talents to make this world a better place, so it's your job to show this world what you're made of. Go get out there. Be you like a boss. Getting strong.